Storytelling is very open. It covers a lot of ground, a lot of fields of work, um, from digital storytelling to offline storytelling to image to sound. So it just made sense. And we could also put a lot of entrepreneurship stories in there and kind of merge the two different tracks from last year and this year together. If you count business people, most of them know what they're talking about. But if you talk to regular people, some are really boring storytellers. They, they tell the wrong story. It's mostly how they tell it. It's, it's not the facts. The facts are, are mostly funny and, and, or, or incredible. But then they tell it in such a boring way that, that you, start, you stop listening after two sentences. When I'm saying copy, I'm talking about every little word that's on, on the website, yeah? It, it, in design, if it's not needed, you get rid of it. So think of writing like that. Think of it like design. Get rid of the superfluous stuff. I think there are a lot of similarities between life and stories. And the best stories are actually the ones that are very close to life. Like the, the example I gave about vulnerability, it's actually something you see again and again in good presentations. Those are people often who are either inspirational or a little bit vulnerable. And it's the same thing in life. When you meet someone and someone is unable to be vulnerable, it will be very difficult to have a connection. So there's this structure, similar structure in life as in good stories. Why you should be a publisher? That is uh, because uh, people actually are searching uh, actively uh, information um, about their hobbies, uh, about uh, things they want to buy, products or services. And that obliges you as a company, as an organization, as an institution, as the government to be a good publisher. In composing uh, a, a soundscape or a piece of music, the silences you put in between sounds are equally important as the sounds you make. And also the fact that if you sit down in a really quiet environment where you think it is silent, after a while you start hearing, hearing all sorts of things and you become aware of things that you normally would not expect to be there. So. Absolute silence is impossible, and, but uh, openness or looking for silence in everything, that's, that's something that is possible. I think especially with radio, you haven't got that visual element, so you're having to narrate stuff a lot. If you've got stuff happening in the studio or wherever you are, you really have to tell the story of what's happening. It's very, very descriptive. It has to be, otherwise you lose your audience. The Anglo-Saxon uh, media and the Dutch uh, media are very analytical, very uh, to the point. Uh, French media are more philosophical, political. They uh, take a political stance, even in uh, uh, even in uh, news articles. Uh, uh, French newspapers uh, uh, don't hesitate to say you should vote for Mr. Hollande or you should vote for uh, Sarkozy. Uh, Dutch newspapers, English newspapers uh, did that in the past, but I don't do that uh, anymore because um, uh, their readers wouldn't like that. I think that everybody is a storyteller to bring his story and, and to uh, convey people to believe in his ID. So I think that's, that's one side of it, but at the other side, you need to have a story to be able to bring your ID forward, because otherwise you, you cannot convince people of what you want to do and where you want to go at. And if I then look at, at crowdfunding as a team, uh, which was the main topic here today, I see that the ones that are most efficient, most original and most authentic in telling their story, those are the ones who are getting picked up, because those are the ones where people can connect with. And I think that's, the, um, that's eventually what the storytelling is about. 
I used MySpace and Facebook just to promote my work, to expose my work, to, to make myself look interesting in, in what I'm doing and where I go, who I photograph. And people follow it. They really like it. And it's, it doesn't cost any money. You just have to put effort to go on the internet and put it on and think about what will you post, what won't you post, what is good for yourself. And, and just use that. Just do it yourself and, and be smart. Be smart and use it for free. It's all about the right brain, you know, the right brain is, is the emotional part of your, your brain. It's the thing that is trying to discover, that is trying to connect with, with people. And because society is very organized in the analytical way, you, you forget those, those stories. And if you get to, to, to connect people through stories, you, you really connect to them. You see that it's authentic, that's about real, real emotions. Uh.